How you doing everybody? Back with another video. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna definitely talk about cast net. And this is what it is. I bought this a couple months ago and it's a life saver and also a money saver too. So I want you guys to take advantage of this and I want to show you how to use it, how to spread it uh, correctly. That way you could actually catch your own bait and save some money and definitely catch some big fish. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So hopefully this will help you and catch you some fish. Today, we are specifically talking about the super spreader cast net uh, by Phytech. I got this from uh, Academy Sport. I'm not affiliated, I don't get commission. I'm just gonna tell you guys and help you guys out, hopefully, at the end of this video. So, um, the whole point is getting this and making it easy. This was only, I think, $14.99, which is a very reasonable price for a cast net. There are some crazy ones out there, but this one is the RS750 series. So it's a 0.75 pound of weight. Those are the weights that at the bottom of the cast net that you know you throw it in there and it spreads below the water quicker. So I suggest you do get the one pound or the 0.75 pound. That's the least you should get. Don't get the half a pound one because they're not gonna sink quicker and it's not gonna catch the bait obviously on time so 3 8 mesh clear mono and that really helps spread it out for enough for you to catch the mullet the, I like this one because I search a lot I like the fact that because I never cast net before so I have no clue how to spread it you know widely and equally it comes with this piece you put on your belt just like so I just got this belt from my house. I mean, you don't have to have a belt. If you have a belt already, you could just loop this in. It's a little plastic piece with the hook. And what it does is you put the piece of the net on there when you throw it. I'm going to show you right now. So basically, just put it in there. The belt that I have. Could be any belt, doesn't matter and you just kind of want it on the side it sits there so the hook is facing up and then you get your cast net you put on your wrist so you don't lose the cast net obviously get your hand the loop the rope just like that bring it all the way so i can show you loop it to the end the piece on the top, the plastic piece, don't worry about this one. That's just to hold the lines right here. Keep it nice and straight. So from the bottom, plastic, that one right there, hold it up. Make sure nice and even, not tangled. Hold the top again with the same hand. Come to the middle, find the middle, you know, ground right there loop it around put it on the same hand just like that i'm lefty so you'll be the doing the other way around if you're right-handed so hook it from anywhere on the net by the rope side between two weights just like that give it a little slack that's good right there hold it like this and then we're gonna make a nice sharp turn See how it's spread all the way out and with that kind of 0.75 and one pound weight those weights gonna sink in so quick and you spread in almost I would say three feet ra uh, radius so the bait is not gonna go anywhere there's no place to escape it's gonna sink right away either left right back forward it's gonna catch your bait so that's it guys I hope this video helps you out. I hope you catch a lot of fish with this bait catcher. Let me demonstrate one more time for you guys. 
put it here, make sure it's secured, loop the rope around so it doesn't get tangled. All the way down. Make sure you're not tangled. Turn around straight. There we go. Again, hold it from the very top with your same hand. Come to the middle. Loop it around. Just, just like that. Hold it so this part is open. Come to your net hook. Put it by the rope side. Give yourself enough slack. Hold in your hand right there. Just like this. You could hold it by the weight if you like to get more momentum when you throw it, doesn't matter. And spread. Woo! That was perfect. I got a lot of bait on that one. <laughs> For sure, so. Anyways guys, here it is. I hope this video helped you guys out. Everybody thinks it's hard, but with this little piece, it's so easy. Everybody can catch their own bait. Don't waste your money to pay for a bait. You will catch all this pinfish, mullet, whatever you want in your bait, you catch it. And the best place to catch early in the morning before the sunrise, by the jetty beginnings or by the boat ramps, where you actually put your boat all the shallow area next to the rocks incredible amount of bait so i would suggest you do that before you go out catch your bait and be careful with the rocks because if you throw it to the rocks it's gonna get snug and you're gonna rip it uh, make sure you go right before the rocks make sure it's a flat surface guys i forgot to mention one trick also when you buy this after you purchase the cast net make sure you soak it inside a fabric softener overnight put in a little bucket make sure that it you know goes all the way in with the water put good amount of fabric softener and leave it on there overnight it makes the this cast net softer not hard so it actually sinks in better and throws better so that's a good trick to learn I did that and it really helps you feel it too after you purchase you do this and you feel the cast net again what a big difference huge difference so that's gonna help you with your distance to throw how quick is gonna go deeper in the water and how better casting throwing that you're gonna have it makes it such a soft throw and every time it makes it more accurate so i would suggest you guys do that as well so i just want to let you know that's it man i hope this video helped you guys out thanks for watching and i do appreciate you guys subscribing i will see you on the next video see ya